Hello. Today we're going to discuss about uh, ECAT scripting. What is ECAT scripting? Okay. In the last session we had discussed about uh, LSMW. How we can create users. LSM. The difference between LSMW and uh, ECAT is uh, the LSMW is used for legacy systems. Okay. Let's start with ECAT scripting. Okay. So, execute transaction code as CC4. Okay. So I am current in 100 clients. So I am checking. See the cat and ecat restrictions is it is allowed. Okay, it should be allowed. So if it is there are four options here ecat not allowed, only allowed for trusted RFC, ecat allowed and cat not allowed. There are many options here. Okay, choose the option ecat and cat allowed. Save it and come back. And execute transaction code C catch. Okay, the screen appears. Select test script and give the name. I am giving test one. Okay, click on create button. So, I'm entering the title. And see, application component. This should be selected. It is the application component BC hyphen security user admin. How we can uh, can also select here. Go to BC. In this, expand this BC security. Under BC security, open this BC sec security user, and this is the one. Okay, select this one. and click on pattern select here ui control after that tcd records su01 should be entered here and in the interface select su01 underscore one and click on continue okay this user screen appears now create the user I'm creating sap9 Give any name here. The the logon data. Enter the password. Okay. You can give here roles, profiles. Okay. I'm giving profiles. In real time, you should not uh, assign this uh, SAP or SAP new to any user. Just for the time being, I am giving this. You can give also the roles here. You can give the groups. After and save. Click back. Do you want to transfer that data? Click on S. The screen appears. Click on S U zero underscore one. Double time. Okay. Expand the Dyn Pro. Click first option and click on field. Click this SAP name, okay, and give your user Z username. <coughs> Sorry, Z username. After this, click this back button, and the dialog box appears. Select import and click on S. Okay. This one is our now the second one. You can click on field. Okay. Users. So I should enter the last name here. Said last name. Okay. You can click on back. Click on S. Okay. Second one is also another third one. Enter the password, right? So, Z password 1. 
click on back click on So two times password should be entered, right? So two times we should enter here. G password one and G password two. Click on back. Click on yes. Okay. Now for profiles. Okay. Profile one. Okay. So in this here is the profile two. Come back with this it is completed. Click on save local object. Come back. So now select test configuration and select the test one and click on create. Okay. User creation here the same component should be entered. Okay, here yeah, download variants. Okay. Now save this on your desktop. Click on S. Now Open your phone. Open the document which you have set in Excel format. Okay, come here. Open now. So there is some error. Let's check this. So I have downloaded this one. Okay.
share this. Okay. See, this is the username. This is the last name. This is the password, first password and second password. And this is the profiles. Two profiles. Okay, save this. Come out. Now come to attributes variants. Select your document and click on execute. Okay. Here, yeah. no termination should be there. No termination. Continue next script command. Normal breakpoint handling. Stop at break. Everything is in green, so let's check whether the whether the user has been created or not. Execute transaction code SU01. Okay, we should start with SAP 10. Okay, so the right user has been created. Let's check uh, SAP 18. We have created from 10 to 18 right so all the users have been created this is a way to create uh, users mass users creation uh, using uh, get scripting